innovation, every leader knows he needs to innovate at rapid pace to excel. But does innovation pay off? Do organizations get a positive ROI on all the um, innovation efforts? And also, what's the role of technologies like cloud on the innovation ROI? Phil Carter, he's the Group Vice President and European Chief Analyst and C-Suite Tech Research Lead at IDC. And he's here to talk us through the global trends on ROI on innovation and the role of cloud. Welcome, Phil. Hey, Arnold. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you're welcome. You speak on June 10th. You will give a keynote about the ROI on innovation at AWS Summit Online in EMEA. Can you elaborate on this? Um, what does ROI on innovation really mean? Sure. So uh, IDC's research shows that European organizations will spend approximately $380 billion on digital transformation initiatives in 2020, in 2021. Um, and that's growing at a 15% rate. So it's, it's growing at a significant level. However, only 26%, uh, so approximately a quarter of organizations are delivering an ROI from those investments. Uh, so we call that the digital ROI gap, uh, and it definitely needs to be closed because this is not about uh, someone's job or career on the line. This is uh, whether an organization makes it or not. This is about survival in the digital first future that we are all heading towards. So that's why we think that we need to define a new ROI, uh, which is about return on innovation. And you were talking about the digital ROI gap that it needs to be closed. What should organizations do to close it? Well, yeah, so in my presentation, I'll be outlining five recommendations with some case studies associated with those recommendations to help organizations think about defining that new ROI, uh, the return on innovation. The first one is about putting in place uh, what we call the digital dream team, which is the new C-suite, where every business function becomes a technology function um, and, and the tech savviness has to raise or, and, and, and accelerate in parallel, where the technology leadership has a seat at the table and also the CEO is personally engaged in that digital dream team. So that's the first recommendation, turn your C-suite into the digital dream team. The second one is around uh, creating a new baseline. So if you are L'Oreal and you saw um, an e-commerce bubble as a result of what we've experienced over the last 15 months, how do you create a new baseline based on that bubble uh, as opposed to going back to where we were 15 months ago? And the third recommendation is about what we call four-wheel drive innovation, uh, which is, a, is basically taking the speed and scale of digital innovation around the edge into the core, into finance, into HR, into procurement, those core functions, so that you can scale these initiatives and deliver the outcomes that are required. The fourth Recommendation is about metrics. So as if all organizations start to rebuild their digital roadmaps with new use cases, there is a requirement to focus on the new metrics that need to be put in place that aligns the new suite, suite the new C-suite, which is that digital dream team. Um, so if you are trying to enjoy employee safety and well-being, then you might be looking at advocacy, employee advocacy as a new metric. Or if you're looking at supplier, so real-time supplier analysis, then you're going to be looking at supplier lead times more closely, but in real time. Um, or uh, thinking about new ways of creating that factory of the future, the automated factory of the future, but delivering the products from that factory in a much shorter time frame. So new metrics associated with the digital roadmap. And then the, the last one, which is critical is the new business technology orchestrator that needs to be put in place. Could be the CIO, could be the CTO, could be the CDO. Uh, the key thing is that that technology leader is an orchestrator, orchestrating the budgets, the architectures, and the stakeholders to deliver on the digital transformation outcomes to deliver on that new ROI, the return on innovation. So five recommendations. 
the Digital Dream Team creating the new baseline, four-wheel drive innovation, uh, metrics for that new digital roadmap, and then finally that business technology orchestrator. We'll be talking about some examples about what organizations are doing, developing the best practices along those lines. Yeah, some five great recommendations. But if we look to technology, technology is an enabler for innovation. And I think cloud is that as well. What is the role of cloud on getting a positive ROI on innovation? Yeah, Ronald, it's not just the enabler, it's the accelerator. Uh, it basically, if you are a retailer and you're having to launch a new curbside pickup use case, you're going to use the cloud for that. Uh, if you are an HR department and you want to track uh, employee health and safety, you're going to use the cloud to roll out that mobile app. Um, and so any organization that is looking to deliver a new digital initiative will increasingly use the cloud to enable that, but accelerate the time to outcomes associated with those, those investments. So um, our research reflects this. Um, in fact, we saw public cloud adoption accelerate quite dramatically in the last 12 months during the course of the pandemic. So growth rates of around 24%. We expect that uh, to, to continue in 2021 and beyond um, as organizations realize that the cloud as a platform to deliver these new innovations, whether it be leveraging AI, leveraging ML, leveraging the new digital innovation capabilities that are coming through from the cloud, uh, will be the way forward. Um, so, and that's across the C-suite, across not just technology leaders, but across the C-suite uh, as a way of delivering that scale. So I'll be exploring uh, a fair amount of that as part of my session on the 10th of June. I'd encourage you or to, to join it. It's as part of AWS Innovation Innovation Day, AWS Online, 10th of June. Join my session. You'll hear my five recommendations uh, around how to deliver this new ROI around the return on innovation, leveraging the cloud. I can't wait till the 10th of June, Phil, and go more in depth on this ROI gap, but also, of course, on your recommendation. Join me 10th of June at the AWS Summit Online EMEA. And for the audience, thank you for watching and we're looking forward to seeing you next time.